you see you want to keep the paper exactly the same place when you activate the lips. So let's move the paper back. Let, let's just get that. There's the whistle again. Get the whistle out. There it is. Now activate the lips. Same air. That's too much air. You don't need that much. There it is. It's a much. It's less air, right? Yes. The quality of the buzz is now better. To blend in the airflow and then gently activate the lips. So think about it with piano. Piano. Then we take that up another harmonic series so we go higher. Very first note, no attack. Yeah, the air supply is too fast. It needs to go. So it's exactly the same feel as ha ya. So we go back to that first. Ha ya. Crescendo to bottom. Diminuendo. Dimin yeah, that's crescendo. Is a crescendo. Okay. You want diminuendo. The sound is beautiful with a diminuendo. If you want to play loud, then you make, if the music says crescendo, but many times we, we make crescendo when it's not appropriate for the high notes. Less volume of air for the upper register. This is the problem is that when we play the trombone, we think we must use a lot of air to play the upper register. And when you're younger, you're told if you want to play in the upper register, you must blow louder. But what happens is when you blow louder, the muscles tighten up and the air supply turns into this. And this is why I say the, the concept of diminuendo for high register is related to this. And you can see it now with this glissando. <laughs> You see it up close. The more diminuendo, the easier the upper register is. Yes, so let's do that with your mouthpiece. So complete diminuendo for high register. But fortissimo.